And we welcome you to the State Palace Theater here in beautiful New Orleans. Scheduled to go the full 10 if we get that far. Round one underway. I wonder if the knockout streak will continue here. Wade's been able to do it throughout his whole career. Knockout man after man, they line up in front of him. He wastes no time. He goes right out of that corner with one thing in mind. Get rid of that guy. Got a fighter in here who's known for having a huge hook. Hey, explain to the layman out there that old axiom, don't hook with a hooker. Well, that means that that punch is his bread and butter, Joe. And it means that, obviously, he's gotten it to a point, to a level of confidence, where it's probably a little shorter than yours, a little quicker than yours. Evil Ways is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. boy, keeps my chip. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Jermaine Taylor's hurt by that. Evil Ways is hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? That's where he wants Taylor's big, big shot comes crashing home. Oh, he's got to beat the count of ten here. Um. Taylor's climb back up from the canvas may inspire him. Locks that punch. Good work toe-to-toe -to -toe there. Both fighters got in on him. We count down the final moments of this round. Not able to land the headshot. He's real tight. He's got nothing left. Now listen, I need you to double up on your punches and keep that lead fire, all right? Jermaine Taylor's corner did a good job in that last round. They really got their fighter back to where he needs to be after being damaged in that last round. And that's not the only good job they did in the corner. They did a good job in the camp because obviously they have him in top shape and it's paying dividends Let's right now. Great work offensively landing that combination by Evil Ways. Good block by Jermaine. Let's see some more head movement. Oh, that's a big hook right there. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Taylor's tagged by a right hand. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that they've had someone hurt, they get a little careless, they get caught. He better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. Jermaine Taylor's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Evil Ways is right hand working well that time. He scored well. And now he's targeting upstairs. Evil Ways is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Jermaine Taylor. the trigger right away with the left hand after right. getting tagged himself. Evil Ways is good, clean, and effective punching damaged his opponent in that last round. All the eyes are on him to start this round. 
Taylor's legs looks just a little shaky, but keep in mind, he barely survived that last round. No, but keep one other thing in mind. I agree with you, Joe, but he's been here before. He's very experienced. If anyone knows how to get out of this, he does. Goes up top with a right hand. Lands the left after setting it up with a jab. Evil Ways' his ability to properly throw and land his combinations has been stunning. Teddy, why is he so successful? Because you just said it, he's putting them together. You know, one or two wouldn't land, but he's handcuffing the guy. And the first two punches, they set up the third and fourth. Doubles up the jab. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Halfway through this round here. Taylor's stunned by that shot. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to go down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. I mean, he's like a guy that's caught in a hailstorm. He's trying to get to the other side of the street, but he just doesn't know where it is now. A well-targeted classic one-two by Evil Ways. Not able to land the uppercut. Wade's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Hey, get out of there! You gotta see that coming, champ! Let's go, you gotta see that! Oh, good-looking two-punch combination by Jermaine Taylor. This is yours, you hear me? This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points like that and go. keep throwing punches. Start of round number four, and Teddy's scorecard a very easy one to read. Three rounds to none. Of course, his opponent's gone down already, so he can just build upon that lead at this point. Well, his opponent's acting like a guy who hasn't eaten for a week, and he's being fed. Fed right hands. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counterpunching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Double jab right to the face. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Jermaine Taylor. Keep moving. 90 Keep seconds moving. to go in round number four. Taylor's showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Hey, man, come on, now, keep your feet moving. Come on, now. Evil Ways, his right hand, did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Left and right, left and right. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Taylor's inconsistencies are really showing up now. At times, he has shown defense tonight. Other times, with what we've seen recently, he's getting hit by the left hand. Yeah, what he has to do is now make the adjustment. You got to breathe. Just breathe. Relax. How are you feeling out there? Now, you're not with... Back to action now. We're underway in what has been a completely one-sided fight. You get the sense this one may not go the distance. Right to the head with that right. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger 
but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. So that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Wade's landed a good, solid combination. Unable to make an impact there by Wade. And he engages in the clinch. That's what I want to see, baby. That's what I want to see. Good return fire that time. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Jermaine Taylor is probably thinking to himself, there has to be an adjustment out there that I can make. Now, he's known as a guy who's a pretty good boxer, but here in these middle rounds, it's not paying off. No, I think what he has to do is maybe just for a minute, go away from being a boxer. Sit down a little bit. He's got to do something to slow down his opponent, gain his respect a bit. As we're between rounds now, Teddy, it gives us pause and time to reflect on what he's accomplished. Wade's precision punching just carried this fight. Yeah, and I'll tell you, it's not because he ate a lot of carrots when he was a kid and he has real good eyesight. It's because he's calm, he has good technique, and that is why he's right on the mark. He comes with a straight right hand. He is stunned. He could go down. Teddy, he may go down just by stumbling the way he's bumbling around this ring. Well, he's got to stop moving. Actually, you never want to fight on the ropes. This is one time he probably needs to be on the ropes just to steady him and then move his head a little bit. That might be his only shot. Wade's just being smart on the outside. Taylor's flat-footed. There's no other way to describe it. He's not a fighter that gets up on his toes, moves around, gives you angles. He's flat-footed. Yeah, you don't have to be on your tricycle all over the place, but you can step a little bit. Get out of range. He's doing nothing. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Stay away from those. He scored well after being hit himself. Right hand downstairs. Very accurate to the body with that left hook. Then he brings the right hand. Taylor's been hurt by that shot. Big, big shot he just scored with. Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. One, two, three, four, five. Jermaine Taylor's back up, but is he back in the fight? Relax, relax. We're going to find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he just stands there straight and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. Just what he needed, the bell to end that round. He was taking a lot of punishment there. Well, if he hit a bad driver, you know, he was a golfer. You say he has to have a short memory. Forget about it. There's another hole coming up. Well, you have to have a short memory right here as a fighter. The only thing is you better get some advice to go out there because you don't want to hit that fairway the same way. Wade's doing exactly what we expected him to do. He laid out the game plan. I want to win it on the outside. The jab's been there all night. Yeah, well, that's where it starts if you want to win it on the outside. You know, you're not going to do it with your feet. This is not kickboxing. You know, you're going to do it with your jab. And that's exactly, it's boxing 101. Control range, control distance, control the jab. Something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. And 
And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Didn't get it done going to the body there. That's a solid right hand by Wade. You need to keep that head. He brings a big power punch and it landed well. Well, we've been talking about getting in his kitchen. He went in there and he ate everything. Get out of here. Nice strike after catching one by Jermaine Taylor. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. Hits him in the mug with the right. Jermaine Taylor's not coming up with the results that you would want to see out of him. Now, he's trying to counterpunch Teddy, but it doesn't seem to be the answer. No, he kind of looks a little bit like that guy who went in to get his hair dyed, you know? And he thought, he thought it was going to be just a little bit lighter, and it wound up being a lot lighter. And he said, wow, what the heck did I do? I, I didn't think I was going to look like this. I didn't think that I was going to box like this. And that's the end of round seven. Keep that jab pumping, then throw the lead right hand. Winning this fight hands down, baby. Got any more of these? That was good. That was real good. Start of round number eight. Teddy's scorecard has it very one-sided. Wade's done as he has pleased all night long. Yeah, well, he has an opponent in front of him, quite honestly, Joe, that gets insulted if you miss him. <laughs> See, the quick jabs, those doubled-up quick jabs, they can be so effective by Wade. Oh, what a hook upstairs. A shooting right hand by Wade. Back to the body. Back to the body. Double up on those punches. Double up. Come on. Double up on those punches. And now he's targeting upstairs. Wade's got that catch-me-if-you-can kind of attitude. He's almost daring his opponent at this point to try to land a headshot. But his movement's been so good. His defense is just supreme. Yeah, it is. He's moving from the waist. He's slipping the straight shots. He's weaving the hooks. He's doing a real magical job in there. But his opponent is making no adjustments at all. Two snapping jabs by Wade. Wade's coming up with the answer, avoiding that punch. Nice work on the right hand by Wade. Taylor's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Wade. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Wade's corner can do nothing but just applaud him as he returns to the stool. Yet another round where he put forth more and more punishment to his opponent. Yeah, well, they're applauding him, and they should thank his opponent for doing an imitation of a heavy bag. Wade showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. See him holding on. Taylor's opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. Taylor's gone into a defensive shell, but that shell has cracks in it. Yeah, it does, and the reason why it's getting cracked is because his opponent is confident that with those earmuffs on, you know, going into that pick bull defense that he is, he knows he's handcuffed, so he's putting together three, four, five punches where normally he would only throw one or two, worried something's going to come back. like a fighter coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon there it is knocked down again unreal now you gotta wonder what the corner's thinking are they gonna stop this
Eddie, do you think he can go on much longer here? No, he's going to need to grab a little bit, take a little time off that clock. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Targeting that head with the combination punching. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Evil win. Big shot. Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? Oh. in a tough spot right now. Yes, he got up, but he looks like he is on a shaky foundation. And this is where you hope that his trainer worked on these things in the gym. Just like in football, the two-minute warning. You know, when it goes crazy, what do you do? Here you go. Nice work. They've put forth a good effort throughout. Now one more meeting. The final round is here. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Good shot to the head with that right hand. And now another left. Unable to land clean by evil waves. Waves showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo. Evil waves is hand speed right now. The difference with what we just saw, able to land that combination. Yeah, he's probably going to need a little bit more down the road, but right now, that's got him in front. Stepping jab by Wade. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Keep working to find Jermaine Taylor lands the uppercut. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. It's over. Fight is over. Wade's opponent is floored. A knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive. I like the way he finished things tonight, Teddy. Evil Ways is your winner by knockout in a fight that he controlled throughout. Well, I'm glad you liked it. And just as